Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Blaze Covered Skies and I am here today to make some more washi tape with you guys and today, last time, I think the last time we made washi tape, we made um, napkin washi tape but then I did a tutorial on how to print on napkin and then I did another tutorial on how to print on tissue paper. Um, but we're going to take that tissue paper, this is all tissue paper, just really inexpensive, cheap um, Christmas wrapping tissue paper that I had in my Christmas stuff. And we're going to make washi tape out of it. I'm, I'm going to go with this design probably from Jenny Allsorts because it's so versatile. I think I'm going to go with this one because I had previously made another one out of this design, which is a little bit similar to this one. It turned out beautifully. I've already used it and I love it. And this double-sided tape is extremely sturdy. So it's much, um, it's, it'll take a lot more like wear and tear than regular washi tape will take. And it's very sticky. So the washi tape that I have is this basic brand. I find it at my dollar store. And my dollar store, I believe it's local. It's it's a dollar store, but everything in there costs a dollar and 31 cents. So is it really a dollar? Not really, <laughs> but it costs a dollar 31. Now I have found um, this brand of tape, of double-sided tape on Amazon that I will have linked down below in, as an affiliate link. And that just means that if you buy through there, then you would be supporting my channel at no cost to you. And I would really appreciate the support. But if you just wanna research this tape, you can go ahead and click on that link and you can see the brand and like how it looks and everything. But I have another tape right here. Um, so that, the one that I found on Amazon, I believe they have a two pack and it's a little bit more expensive than I pay for. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive. When I checked, I think it was like $5, don't quote me, but um, it was more expensive. Now I found a 12 pack that ended up being $2 each, but if you buy a 12 pack. So if the price is still the same at that link, it's not a bad price if you use a lot of double-sided tape. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to turn it so that the lighter side, like the wrong side of tissue paper is on the top. And then we're going to do the same thing as we did with the, um, with the, what do you call it? The napkin washi. So I'm just laying it down and I can tell already that I'm gonna veer off because I didn't put it down extremely parallel. But that's okay because I can show you guys how to fix it. And if you can hear that, that is extremely sticky tape. All right. And I am going to roll it back up. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the napkin washi, except it's a little bit harder to tear. Napkin is easier to tear. But as you can see, it's not that much more difficult. Okay. 
right and then we're just gonna keep on trucking along as you can see I veered off pretty bad I am getting ready to do some botanical journals so I am making a lot of washi tape because I think I'm going to be using them a lot in my collages and things like that. Right now I'm going to turn it to the other side and take off the excess. And with this excess, I'm going to use it to patch up the part that was missed in my other section, in this section right here. And I think it's big enough. So I'm just laying it down and pressing it down really hard. And if I do have a large spot that was missed, I can just add more on but but I don't so so that's what it looks like patched up and we're going to continue on I, I do this really crooked. <laughs> so as you can see, the tissue paper behaves very similar to napkin. It is a little bit sturdier than napkin, but it gives the same look and it acts the same. And I will be saving this part to um, do collaging with. All right. I've really been loving um, making my own I mean basically making my own decoupage paper slash napkins just because it gives us so many more options and you get to choose your favorite digitals and you can correspond your washi tape with your the digital kit however you print it out with either the decoupage you do with the papers or the journal pages or the pockets and tucks and cards and see like when you go close to the edge it's cool because you're not wasting a lot but then tearing it is a little bit more difficult I 
and it does take just a little bit longer. I am just, um, just really pushing it so I finish my sewing journals. I've been working on them forever, it seems. <laughs> But it generally takes me a long time to do a journal. And when I do journals, I generally do four to six of them at a time in the same theme. But I'm so ready for botanicals. I'm so ready for flowers. Maybe it's a spring thing, although I do I don't like spring. I don't know why. I think it's because I want summer to come so bad. And then when spring gets warm on a day and then it gets cool again, it's kind of like, oh, I shouldn't have cut that actually. Um, when it gets cool, it's kind of like a tease. I'm going to go ahead and tear this side first. I'm just lining it up to the tape. To the roll of tape underneath. Actually, this is this is stiff enough that you can just do it on its own. I am going to be pressing some flowers soon as well. I love having pressed flowers in my botanical journals. All right, now as you can see, we need to patch this little area up. So I'm just gonna find a piece to just patch in there. And then let's go ahead and roll it back up. It's so whimsical, this pattern. It reminds me of Meet Me in St. Louis. Have you guys watched that movie? It's a really old movie with Judy Garland. I don't know why this paper reminds me of that time period. All right, but there we have another roll. And once you have this rolled up like this for a while, it, it pretty much stays. But I use these little tiny, um, these little tiny hair ties to kind of hold it there for a while. And I actually do like it to unravel a little bit like that. So I would say I'm going to compare it to my napkin washi. It definitely will function the same. The, I think the main difference is the way it tears. This has more of a handmade torn look to it, the napkin, and this is a much more smoother tear. Um, let me grab another roll. See how this is so much more like textured and this one is a lot smoother but I love them both I'm gonna continue making some more if you do make some of these tapes whether it's with napkin or tissue paper that you print on yourself I would love to see it um, if you have an Instagram you can find me over there my name is the same over there lace covered skies and I would love it if you tagged me in any of your creations but thank you so much for watching today if you like this video please go ahead and give me a like down below 
and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!